Hi, my name is Lily and this is Roots. The inability to make a self-portrait starts young. Its warped clutches wrap firm around your stem using loved hands. The newly planted seeds throw roots into your senses. See, hear, touch, smell, and taste. Suddenly, I swear my vision's blurry because that's not the face my mother kisses. It couldn't be. Suddenly, my head's on a swivel running from what it's attached to. It doesn't go far, and I don't think I will either. Suddenly, I swear everywhere I go whispers at my heels. Suddenly, every commercial is a diet or a cream or a tacky workout DVD, and I suddenly can't seem to not notice the side glance I get every time one plays. My back hurts, as it always does. Suddenly, I swear my skeleton is starting to feel the presence I hold. Suddenly, I'm hiding to make up for space stolen, squeezing silent sorries for being perceived in deep breathing. Suddenly, I'm very sorry. A sorry so deep, I'm sure it'll pass me in my grave. God, do you smell that? Suddenly I swear something's rotting. I'm pretending, of course, like I don't know what it is when it's budding from the center of my sternum. But I'll just hope for now that the fresh rain washes it away. But is it really the smell of rot? It can't be. Rotting never felt this much like home. Suddenly I'm in the still warm corner of my decay that I've oh so meticulously made for myself, and it suddenly seems so disturbing. It rips through me. The love I found in falling apart. It bites in spiderweb waves and consumes my body until I'm a wisp caught in a cool wind. The wisp of who I was, smaller in almost every way. It's a bitter pill to swallow when you realize that none of this was very sad at all. I've always been snugly shrouded in the plush of my own willful ignorance, in my home. But now the sight is sickening and becoming shambles. The twisted underbelly blooms to the surface, becoming so clear I'm finally forced to see it within myself. The floor growing large gnashes, the fireplace going dim, and my mouth feels funny. Suddenly my tongue is swollen. Everything has the bitter aftertaste of a rule broken. Sweet tastes sour and the power of being borderline comatose is fleeting farther. Am I really a coward? Stuck in my little world with only a low broken mirror and a low broken me. And in my home, as whoever I am sits in my sick, I suddenly and slowly lurch on hands and knees towards the side of myself. Burning curiosity lights my souls. I'm uneasy as my eyes form the reality of my reflection and I see it. Wriggling roots make my eyelashes and I can only imagine what they've done to my synapses. Roots twist and coil so densely I'm not sure I'm made of anything else. I'm only a host for what's been done to me. No, I'm sorry. I'm only a host for what I fostered from the curse of being stuck at the intersection of childhood ignorance and an extremely matured sense of contempt. And I know, as I always have, that there's only one way to get out. And suddenly, hands shaking, I'm spooning my eyes out, pinching the frays, and pulling them forward. They're deeper now, and I can feel the swirling and spinning slimy lines around the base of my spine. My back hurts, as it always does. My skin is slipping with rigor mortis. Metam metamorphosis is my sick sister sense. You and I are different now, but I still can't quite make a self-portrait.